I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply, and I'm working on my own little project here for our shop. We're making a, uh, a chip separator for our dust collection system um, out back, and I'm going to be cutting out a little bit of steel um, on this lid at the top. Um, it's about, I don't know exactly, probably 20 gauge steel in the thickness. It's maybe a little under a sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, and I'm going to be using my scroll saw to cut it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about cutting metal with a scroll saw. It's not something that we do very often, but it's definitely something a scroll saw is capable of. Now, the first thing I want to talk about here is the blade. Um, there are special metal cutting blades for your scroll saw. Um, if you look at it, it's gonna you won't be able to see in the camera here, but if you had a magnifying glass, it looks a lot like a standard skip tooth blade and really the tooth pattern is essentially the same as a skip tooth blade but um, it's a little extra hard they're hardened blades um, so they're gonna last a little bit longer through the hard metal especially while you still can you could use a standard skip tooth blade they're not gonna last nearly as long as these this is considered a jeweler's blade designed for cutting metal so that's the blade I have in there right now that's in number three uh, quite fine teeth, but there's a fair amount of spacing in between the teeth and that's going to prevent heat buildup and things like that. So yeah, um, first thing I got to do, I guess the other things I can talk about here is I have a piece of eighth inch hardboard on the back here that I cut round for the bottom of my lid. Um, I have that there and that's going to prevent a lot of the tear out coming through the steel so that I don't scratch my table up like crazy and it's gonna leave a cleaner cut there on the bottom. So the first thing I would need to do is double side tape this piece of hardboard to the back here. So I'm gonna do that right now. I've got uh, three holes marked on the top of my drum here. These two outsides are gonna be for these inlets here. Then we also got a center. I'm gonna put a little plexiglass window. Um, so the next thing I'll do, I've got the uh, hardboard or the MDF um, double side tape to the back there. I'm just going to pre-drill uh, these three holes here. Sharper drill, but might have been a wise thing. But. Okay. Now we're ready to saw. Okay, so I got the blade set up here. That's a jeweler's blade. Um, so the name of the game here is Patience. Um, it's going to be fairly slow cutting. It's quite fine teeth, and we don't want to overheat that blade. Sometimes a little squirt of WD-40 isn't a bad idea every now and then. So let's start cutting and see how she works. And like anything, you can choose your preferred speed. I got about mid-range here. First cut there. And there's your steel. You can see that's leaving a nice clean edge on the bottom because of MDF. So um, I did break a couple blades that first round. So yeah, you gotta make sure you go nice and slow. It's a bit of a learning curve. Um, if you put too much pressure on that blade, you're gonna break it. It's just the way it is. It's just small teeth, and with the metal there, it can make heat real fast. So. Yeah, I'm going to carry on and do the rest of these and we'll see what the end uh, product or the finished product looks like here. Okay. 
Okay, so that was my last cut there. Now I will say with these metal cutting blades, they are very brittle. Um, so make sure you don't put any side pressure. Try to avoid any side pressure on, at all on them and just go slow and they'll work well for you. Um, because they're hardened, uh, that makes them a little bit less forgiving than a standard scroll saw blade. Um, so I got my cuts. Now the beautiful thing is with that backer board, uh, very clean on the bottom. So you can see that's just a little under a sixteenth of an inch there. And that's steel. That's a mild steel. So yeah, um, if you are cutting steel with a scroll saw, definitely is something that you can do. You're going to make sure you have the right blade and you're going to make sure you have patience and you can do it. If anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the, on the video. Now, if you want to see future videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button. Thank you much.